All right, so this is still 2.6. Now I'm going to do an application on how to solve using um, logs. So here's the question. How many years will it take to grow $10,000 up to $25,000? So we want to we start with $10,000 and we're going to grow it to $25,000 if it's invested at 7% compounded continuously. So remember, when you see the term continuously, you're going to use your PERT equation. That's your formula. Okay, we're going to plug the values in where they belong. So remember, A is what we're going to. It's our ending amount. So we want to end at 25,000. We began, our P is our beginning amount. We began with 10,000. E is our natural number. Our rate is 7%, so we're changing it to a decimal. And our time is what we're looking for. Okay, so this is where we are going to be able to use our inverse operations in order to solve because now our unknown is in the um, exponent position. So here's the process. I have, excuse me, I have all the information in the right spots. The goal is to get T by itself. Okay, so first things I'm going to do is I'm going to divide off the $10,000. Okay, so 25,000 divided by 10 is going to be, I'm moving my decimal four places. Okay, so you can either do it on your calculator or when you divide by 10,000, that's moving it four places. Okay, my 10,000 is now gone. Okay, so now I have an unknown, my E is by itself. I have an unknown in my exponent position. So you have to think to yourself, okay, I can't solve it with an exponent as the unknown. I can only solve it when I have a straight equation. So I want to get rid of the e. So what is the, what is the function that undoes or is the inverse of e? Well, the inverse of e is the natural log. So what you're going to do is you're going to ln both sides. When you ln an e, what that does is it cancels it because ln and e are inverse operations. They cancel each other. So what happens is I end up with ln of 2.5. This drops down and now I have a straight equation. Okay, so to get t by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by 0.07. 0 0.07, that cancels it. Now my t is by itself. So now you're going to use your calculator. You're going to do ln of 2.5. Make sure you close the parentheses and hit equals. Then you're going to divide by 0 0.07. If you don't close the parentheses and hit equals, what's going to happen is your calculator is going to read it like this. It's going to read it like that. Okay? So we don't want to ln the 0 0.07. We only want to ln the 2.5. So in your calculator, the way you're going to type this in is you're going to do ln 2.5, hit equals or enter, and then you're going to take that answer. So that answer is 0 0.91629. And then you're going to divide both sides by 0 0.07. So when you, <coughs> excuse me, when you divide by 0 0.07, you get 13.089. So what were you looking for? Remember, whenever you're doing an application, you want to figure out, all right, what was I looking for? Well, I was looking for how many years. So when you look at your answer, that's how many years it's going to take in order to grow your money from 10,000 to 25,000. So it's going to take about 13, um, about 13 years, just over 13 years um, to grow your money from 10,000 to 25,000 when you have it invested at 7%.